Powered by EVGA. So today is the day, the official launch of the EVGA GeForce GTX 670. So the 680 launched a little while ago and it brought really exciting new features to graphics cards like adaptive V-Sync, GPU Boost, TXAA. So the GTX 670 brings all of those great features and excellent performance at a brand new price point. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we get on the inside. So here's the outside of the EVGA GeForce GTX 670 box. So let's go ahead and open this up. So right on top here we have a driver DVD and a case badge. We also have a small note about power supply requirements. We have a manual, a quick installation guide, and a set of two stickers. Also EVJ includes a full size fold out poster. Also we have a couple of Molex to 6 pin PCIe adapters and a DVI to VGA adapter. Alright, so now let's get to the really good stuff. Here is the EVGA GeForce GTX 670. This card uses dual 6 pin PCIe connectors and you may notice that they're in the center of the board. We'll get to exactly why that is a little bit later. Alright, for output connectors this card has dual DVI connectors. One of them is a DVI-D. It also supports DisplayPort and HDMI. And you can run all four of these at the same time. In fact, you can even run all four displays in a surround plus accessory display setup. Also on this particular board, we already installed the EVGA GTX 670 backplate. This backplate will be available separately and on select EVGA GeForce GTX 670s. Now about those PCI Express power connectors, they are located in the center of the board and here's the reason why. The total board length is 9.5 inches, but as you can see, the actual graphics card is significantly smaller. The fan is located off of the PCB to the right hand side, allowing for a bigger heatsink on the GPU. So let's briefly cover some of the key specs. The card features 1,344 processing cores, features 2GB of RAM, but EVJ will also be offering 4GB models. EVJ will also be offering superclocked and FTW versions. All of the current GeForce GTX 670s in the EVGA lineup feature a type of cooler that helps exhaust hot air outside of the chassis. This type of cooler helps to lower your case's ambient temperature. The new EVGA Precision X software is also fully compatible with the GeForce GTX 670. EVGA will also be making available an exclusive 670 skin, which you can get at the EVGA Precision X website. If you want to learn more about NVIDIA GPU Boost and EVJ Precision X, I recommend you check out the dedicated video for this. So now let's take a look at a couple of benchmarks. First I'm going to run the Heaven benchmark at 1920 by 1080 with full settings, including tessellation at the extreme detail setting. I'm also running 8x anti-aliasing and 16x filtering. So at these settings, the EVJ GeForce GTX 670 was able to get 43 frames per second, which is really impressive considering that the GeForce GTX 680 gets about 47. So now let's take a look at another game. This is Sniper Elite V2, and in this particular game I'm able to run at 1920 by 1080 with all options maxed at around 60 frames per second. This is running a single GeForce GTX 670 at stock frequencies. So there you have it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 670. Thanks again for watching. As you can see, this product brings excellent price to performance value. For more information on this product, please visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.